What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be discussing Iter Tools Group By. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Pandas framework, you have surely heard of Group By and ran into it multiple times. Now, the Pandas Group By is actually based off the Python Group By. So there is an original Python Group By that Pandas' Group By is based off of. I actually didn't know this and I was a little blown away by this. All right, so with that said, let's just dive right into it. From iter tools, we're going to import group by, then we're going to import string in random. So this first cell, we're going to be importing three different frameworks, modules, libraries, etc. All right, now the first thing we need to do is create an iterable. And the way I've chosen to do it is using random that choices, we're going to take 20 letters from string.ascii lowercase. If you guys are not too familiar with string.ascii lowercase, I have actually made a video called Random File Name Generator that you guys can check out to get a better understanding of string.ascii lowercase. So with this random.choices, we're going to be sampling 20 items based off the sampling parameter k. So we'll run this and then we'll just take a quick look at x. So 20 lowercase items and you'll see some of them are repeated. Maybe you can't see that but what we'll do is sorry Japanese keyboard that I'm still not used to. Okay. So what we're going to do is sort everything. All right and now it should be easier to see that there are indeed repetitions. Multiple D's, multiple E's, multiple O's, etc. All right. All right. So basically what group by is going to do is it groups together consecutive items that are of the same occurrence. Remember, this is the key point. Consecutive items together that are the, of the same occurrence. Now that is why you always need to sort. If you don't sort, group by will lead to various duplicates of the groups and keys. So you'll have duplicate groups and duplicate keys, or duplicate keys, and you'll see what I mean by keys. But always remember, if you want to use group by, you need to first sort, sort, sort. All right. So we're going to run uh, group by by X, just to show you that it returns the iter tools group by. So this is uh, some sort of iterator and we need to uh, iterate through the iterator and extract all the values. All right. So let's just take a look at this code again and um, let's just take a deeper look. Basically we have group by X, which is going to return an iterator and these iterator consists of two parts, a key and a group. Now the key is going to represent the unique key and the group is going to represent the group, group of elements represented by that key. So above, let's take a look at X again. So the unique keys are going to be the unique items. So in this case, since we're not using any special uh, lambda function or key function, it's going to be based off this iterable itself. And I'll explain what I mean by the lambda or key function in the next example. But basically in this iterable, the unique keys are the unique items. So if you had ran set, you would get back all the unique keys. So D is a unique key, E is a unique key, H, I, J, K, etc, etc. Now each of these unique keys is going to represent all of the elements that are part of that group. And in this case, each unique key is going to be representing all of the elements. So D, 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 the unique key E is going to represent E, E, um, H only has one group element, I only has one group element, etc. O has two elements. So basically that's how group by works. So let me just uh, escape out of this. So if I run this, you should see the key and the group. We're going to print out the key and the group. And the group is also an iterator, so you need to use a list to extract all the values. So this is how group by looks. We have a key and you'll notice the key are unique elements and they're only unique because we sorted the list. You always have to sort the list. 
and I'll show an example of what happens when you don't short the list. But we have a key and we have a group. Each key is representing the group of elements that belong to that key. And here, since we're not using uh, anything special in terms of a, a special function to extract the uh, group values or the key values, we're going to be just getting back the key represented by D and the group represented by the key itself. So all the elements falling into that group or all of the duplicates. All right. So this was the first simple example. Now let's look at a more complicated example. Say we have a, a tuple of data, or data full of tuples, and we're interested in grouping by the second element. So you'll see these acronyms, cat, not, eth, and you'll see they're duplicates. So we want to group by these um, sort of three letter words or codes or acronyms. I'm not sure what they are but we want to group by these. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is sort. And remember, since we're going to group by these three letter words or three letter codes, we're going to need to sort by them. So the first thing we'll do is use sorted, key equals lambda. If you guys are not too familiar with this method of sorting using lambda, I've actually created a video on that as well, and you can check it out. I'll try to put links within the description. But basically, first we're going to sort everything, and then we'll take a look at that. Oops, I forgot to run this first. Data, data. Okay, so now we have sorted everything by these uh, three letter acronyms. Teach. And now we can use group by. Now, with group by, when you have something like this, which is a more complicated data structure, a tuple, you have to specify how you want to group by. In our case, we want to group by the second element of the tuple. And the first thing we want to ensure is that they're all sorted. So they are indeed sorted, the second elements of the tuple. And you have ETH, you have cat, and you have not. So they're sorted, and that's how we want to group by. So we put this key, and then we use the lambda to extract the, the second element of each tuple, and we're going to group by that, group by the key. If you guys are not familiar with key used in this way on lambdas, once again, I have a bunch of videos on lambda, sorted, etc., uh, functional programming in Python. So you could check that out and you'll get a much clearer understanding of how this works. All right, so now I'm just going to run this and you'll see that it's sorted by unique groups. So the first group is ETH, represented by the key ETH and it consists of all of the elements that contain ETH as the second element within the tuple. So we have this, 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 etc. Then we have cat, which represents all the cat elements, and not. So basically group by is a very effective way to group elements of data based on some criteria. And in this case, our criteria was the second element of the tuple. All right, so with that said, now I just want to show you what happens when we don't sort. All right, so I'm going to run data again. This time I'm not going to sort. I'll skip this step and I'll run data here. All right, so as you can see, it's not sorted and you'll see the problem with group by. The keys are going to be duplicated. Cat, not, eth, not, eth, so you'll see you see there is a lot of duplication. Yeah, so this is why group by needs the items that you want to sort by, or the items that you want to group by to be sorted. All right, now with that said, let's see. So we've went over Lambda, went over the slightly more complex example. Now I want to go over even more complex example. All right, so we're going to be grouping by odds and evens. So we have a function that checks if a number is even and returns even, or else it's going to return odd. So this function check even will take a number and it will use module two to check if it's zero. If it is, it's even or else it's odd. Now we have grouper, which is going to take an iterable. It's going to sort the iterable. Now here's the key part. Since we want to 
sort by evens and odds, these strings, evens and odds, we need to sort according to the key, check even. So I've created a video on sorting and using special keys or special functions to sort by special parameters. So you could check that out as well. But basically this key is going to ensure that our sorting is going to be sorting by evens and then odds. So the iterable is going to have the items sorted by, uh, if they're even or odds, first all the evens are going to be listed, then all the odds. So we now have the sorted iterable, and now we're going to group by the iterable using this uh, check even function. So the key is going to be check even, and whatever we get back from check even, either the string even or odd, it's going to group by that. So once again, it's going to take an iterable and it's going to run check even on each element, get back those elements and group by those elements. So it's going to take the first element, it's going to run it through the function and if it returns an even or odd, it's going to group by that. And since we've sorted it to be sorted by even and odds, it's going to properly group by. Right, so let's just run this and see what happens. Um, but before we do that, this last line is just going to be printing out the keys and groups. All right. So the first thing we do is import random, and we're going to sample a bunch of numbers from list uh, range 1 to 50. So let's just run this. And what we're going to do is we're going to run x. And we'll see that it sampled a 2, a 49, and 3. So we have one even and two odds. So it should be grouping by uh, the 2 and the 49 and 3. So we should have two groups. One is an even group, which consists of 2, and one is an odd group, which consists of 49 and 3. Now let's just check this out. If we run grouper x, oops, I need to run this function. Then run this, okay. All right, so we'll just run this again. All right, so these are three even numbers. Let me just run this again so we get at least one odd. Okay, so now we have a 30, 39, and 15. So the first one is even and the other two are odd. So it should group by an even and odd. So let's just run this. All right, so as you can see, we get back an even group, which consists of 30, and we get back an odd group, which consists of 39 and 15. So yeah, so that was a more complicated function. Hopefully, uh, that wasn't too bad for you guys. All right. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.